A lot of people are under the impression that Afropunk is just a festival. Let's just clear things up before we really get into this. When you're growing up black, a large percentage of iconic figures that are exposed to you in the media, history books, and even religion are people that are white or have fairer skin. Thus, our ways of understanding and knowing the self are almost exclusively led by another entity. Being a psychology student, I'm well aware that a person's self-esteem and self-concept comes from their family history and, of course, their racial history. Their racial history. Their racial history. Unfortunately, some Africans hate who they are and love who they cannot be. We think that if we can't act white enough, marry white enough, or even bleach our skin, then maybe, just maybe, white folks will begin to accept us. But then again, this isn't all by choice. I like girls with that light complexion look. I'm a victim. Good hair. Nigga, you so brainwashed. So this is where Afropunk comes in. They're not a festival. They just so happen to throw festivals. <laughs> Afropunk is a cultural movement celebrating creativity and freedom in alternative black culture. Kids from across the globe who felt like outsiders nurtured this movement, encouraging expression through film, music, art, comedy, and just so much more. This all started off as a documentary. In 2003, the documentary called Afropunk was released, and its intention was to explore the role of black people in the punk scene and other alternative subcultures. Today, this culture has become a radical act of self-care, a realized demand of safe spaces for people of color. And in 2017, finally Afropunk came down to South Africa, but specifically Joburg. They always come to Joburg, they always come to Joburg, like for real, for real. Cape Town's cool too, you know, like, come through to Cape Town sometime. I mean, it isn't the most African city, but uh, it's cool. All the lineups were fantastic. In fact, this year's Afropunk lineup was just released a couple of weeks ago. But in this video, we do a countdown of some of our favorite lineups. You know what? I'm over prating. Let's get into it. As I mentioned earlier on, 2017 was the first time Afropunk came through to Joburg. To be honest though, I feel as if many were excited about the arrival of the festival rather than the lineup itself. Some of the names in the lineup included Anderson Park and the Free Nationals, King Ta vs Blackjacks, Lauren Vula, Black Motion, Theo Parazin, The Brother Moves On, and so much more. Here's the thing though, what came as a blow was that Solange was supposed to be at the festival, but then she was sadly unable to attend. The other international act was Anderson Park, and I'm pretty sure many had come down or even Emma wrong on their minds when he graced the stage. In our eyes, the inclusion of Black Jacks was extremely vital as they symbolized the punk roots of Afropunk. If you're having a conversation about all black South African rock bands, somewhere along the lines these guys will pop up in your dialogue. When this lineup was first announced, to be honest, I was a little bit disappointed, but then I realized that I was doing what most people do and I was looking for the international names. I took a step back and I started looking at the whole lineup and saw the local names. The lineup includes Solange, Miguel, Masejo, Goldlink, Neo, Destruction Boys, Shoma Josie, Darky Fiction, Morena La Raba, and so much more. Solange just released a new album, and the timing is so great as many would love to see the live edition of that. The release of Tada and Lady Lady left Masejo hot on everyone's radar and gold link plus he just released a new album going to local artists now if you're going to be at afropunk 2019 the group that you do not want to miss is of course darky fiction the link to their music is below go listen to it i'm not going to explain myself check it out And if you're more into your live music and like live instrumentation then morena la raba is a really good group to look out for I also love the consistent addition of GOM artists within Afropunk lineups. This year, Shoma Josie and Destruction Boys are bringing the Alright, 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 check me out, check me out. Check me out, check me out, check me out. Muzi. Moonchild Sanere. The Internet. Keicho Nara! I firmly believe that this is one of the best lineups that Africa has ever seen. It's been decided these are facts. Apart from the names mentioned before, the other names in the lineup include Thundercat, Flying Lotus, Youngster CPT, Dope St. Jude, Farka, Cuesta, DJ Maporiza, and so much more. That lineup literally boasts itself. There's a fine mixture between mainstream and alternative artists that are on that lineup. I also love the inclusion of artists with a political edge on the lineup. These are artists such as BCUC and of course Public Enemy. The theme for 2018 was the people resist, so it's no surprise. One of the critiques that Afropunk gets is the fact that they've strayed away from their punk and rock roots. 
If you look at all their lineups, international and here in SA, you'll see a dwindling amount of rock and punk groups that are not featured. The way we see it, the musicians at Afropunk are not just there to sing and rap, they're not just there for music's sakes, but to celebrate and give voice to communities of difference. For those that have been marginalized for such a long time, when they see this kind of empowerment, it has a huge effect on their psyche. Secondly, rock isn't what it used to be as it's morphed with other genres. Rock has been dethroned by hip-hop as the most popular genre in the world. The transformation of the lineup is more so an exhibition of Afropunk presenting as artists that are relevant and of course keeping up with the times. If you want to find out a lot more about South African music, you came to the right place. Huge shout out for those that have been watching our shit. Also a huge thanks to Soundcast, this is where we make everything and this is goodbye. I'm so bad at saying goodbyes, but <laughs> yeah, check out our future videos too. Just, just, just be on the lookout. I, I.